Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Ryan Fenners. Welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. On today's video, we're going to fix a parking brake issue that is very common with the club cart president golf carts. Now, with that being said, if your golf cart pedal is automatically sticking every time you go to hit the brakes on your golf cart while you're driving, I covered that in another video. So with that being said, we're going to jump right here and fix this part. This part's only about $35 and I'll place a link in the description below where you can find it yourself. This is a very easy and simple fix. Just about anyone can do it. Let's just jump right into it. Now in order to get to the pedal group, we're first gonna go ahead and remove these two screws here. Both of these are gonna be a T40. You may also have to remove the ones on the opposite side of the golf cart as well. Now by removing these two bolts on per side, we can now pop off these front sides here enough so we can gain access to the rubber floor mat and access the pedal group. Now when you are removing the pedal group from the golf cart here, this is a plastic piece right here, has a finger hole where you just put your finger in there, pull it up, there's gonna be a plastic Christmas tree, that will probably pop up as well. Now in order to remove the pedal group away from the golf cart, there's gonna be four torx head screws we need to remove. You can have two on the brake side, which is actually the driver side. You can have two on the passenger side, which is the accelerator side. The two on the passenger and accelerator side, they're gonna be short and you're gonna use a T40. The two on the driver side, beside the brake, is gonna be longer and they're gonna be self tappers and they're gonna use a T27. Now before we go ahead and remove the pedal group away from the golf cart, we need to go ahead and disconnect the brake pedal from the brake rod itself. Also remember if you have a light kit, you need to go ahead and disconnect that as well. I'm just gonna take this spring here, pull out the back, now that is disconnected. Now you need to grab two wrenches, one to hold your uh, connector together and one to hold the nut. This is gonna take a half inch wrench, so I grabbed two of those as well. Once you have the brake pedal disconnected from the brake rod itself, you can go ahead and remove the pedal group from the golf cart. Just note the M core wiring on the accelerator pedal is still hooked up. And once we get it up, we need to disconnect those wires. Now in order to remove the two plugs that's on the M core from the pedal group itself, you can use your finger, slide it in here and push away, or you can use a flathead screwdriver if your fingers aren't strong enough. All right, so we went ahead and removed the pedal group away from the golf cart. Next thing you need to do once the pedal group is removed from the golf cart, you need to go ahead and remove this cover here. It sits on here like this. This little um, long piece here goes up underneath this cover and is popped into place with these tabs. Just take a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, lift in here, lift up. Once you get it up, it will come out. Now there's gonna be some tabs on the front here. There's gonna be three tabs there. And they're gonna fit into place. We need to replace this right here pin. This pin is not catching, it's not latching every time you go to hit the part break. So this pin is wore out and we need to go ahead and replace it. So see how wore out it is? See it's notched out there? We're gonna go ahead and replace that. Now the first thing we're gonna remove is the brake pedal assembly. It's gonna have four bolts. That's gonna take a T30 to remove all four of those. It's gonna be one at the top left here, two on the right hand side there and there, and one down here at the bottom left. Now when we're going to remove the brake pedal assembly, away from the pedal group here. We're gonna need to turn this right here around backwards before we pull it out. And it slides out just like that. Now the brake pedal assembly has been removed from the pedal group. Now once you have the brake assembly off, this is the piece right here that we're gonna be replacing. If you look down in here to the end of the shaft in there, see exactly down in there, that's the bolt that we're gonna be removing so we can remove this right here assembly. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna use a T25 Torx instead of the Allen key. We're 
once we have the bolt loosened up we can go ahead and start rocking this assembly back and forth and there it is that is the assembly we needed to remove so this is going to be the new part here i'll link it down in the description below where you can find one of these as well i think i paid about 35 dollars shipped now as you can tell both of these parts are exactly the same on the shaft here where it fits into the housing is the same input as well has the spring as well and the spring on this one's starting to wear out as well same there and same here as well now you see the little metal part here sticking out and you can tell it's starting to wear there in the middle this one isn't as bad as i've seen in the past i've seen some here that are wore even more now this one was still latching every now and then but you know on a consistent basis it was not latching so that's why we went ahead and decided to replace it in this golf cart now, I will say this as well on the outside of this um, assembly here this also I believe acts as sort of like a bearing where if you look at this portion here it's actually connected to the pedal itself see it's turning there and when you're installing this piece back onto there you kind of want to make sure that this little uh, piece right here on the bottom the silver piece is just slightly over this one notch here, so almost perfectly straight up and down. There we go, we got it installed. What I had to do was I had to actually lift up on the pedal itself this right here way in order for the, the pedal side of the rod and the gears in here to fit perfectly. Now we go ahead and replace our bolts and tighten it down. So while the pedal was out of the um, assembly here, I went ahead and put some WD-40 down on these two springs, down on this pivot joint here and the spring up here, just for some preventative maintenance for in the future. I just want to make sure everything is lubed up and working properly. Now remember when you installing this pedal back into the pedal group, it has to go in backwards like that. So we're actually gonna take it put it in place. Now where it's gonna be tricky is down here. Since this right here is wanting to hit this over here, in order to get your screws lined up, you can take your thumb, move it out of place, and line your bolt holes up and put your bolts into place there. As you can see, this is the part we replaced here. And if we move it away from this gear here, you can see it's not worn down. Over time, these will wear down. And it's a cheap part, 30 something, like $35 to replace it. So I'll be sure to place a link in the description below where you can buy yours and replace yours as well. That gear has plenty, plenty of bite now. And it's not gonna start skipping this right here. The part brake will start locking every time now. Okay guys, we've got everything reinstalled back into the golf cart here. The parking brake is set right now. Easy to set it each and every time. It's not, you know, prematurely setting like on the last video was. So that's working fine as well. There we go. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching the uh, video. If this has helped you out, please drop a like. Remember, I put that part in the description below where you can check it out. I think it was like $35 is what I paid for it, two day shipping. So I'll be sure to link that down there as well. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe to the Fentertainment channel, click that bell notification, maybe share this with a friend or in a group of people. And until next time guys, we'll see y'all later.